Hello everybody, Frankie Day here for Frankie Day Models. Okay fellas, for the snowy chilly Thursday, I have a participation uh, for Rob of basic, of basic modeling. He has a he has a group build going on, it's called Recon Group Build. Uh, so far I got about uh, two or three aircraft. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be, um, I got uh, two aircraft that'll probably, I got two, at least two aircraft I got started already. That, that that'll fit that group build. I know they're reconnaissance aircraft, and plus uh, they got stuff to protect themselves too. Uh, armament also as well. And uh, on uh, reconnaissance aircraft, a lot of them were, were a lot of them had camera pods fit on them, and a lot of them were bombers. A lot of them were just uh, regular single engine aircraft like a Lysander and uh, the. Uh, the Provost, uh, I think, who makes that? It's an English aircraft. Uh, Percival, Percival Provost, I think it is. That was a recon plane. And, uh, of course, you've got uh, a lot of jet aircraft. So I'm glad that Rob right there says that any aircraft that has a, it could be all heiress, you know, which is good. So right now, this is my participation of his group bill. Um, it expires at the end of March. So this is about the tail end of February. So I should have had this thing done in no time. So I got, I got a head start on it. And uh, we'll go into it as I show you my, uh, my entry. Over here, this is a vacuum form kit. I bought this back in 1977. Out there, it came from Archer's Hobby World out of, out of, uh, out of California. Uh, Archer's Hobby World used to be a mail order house. It was actually the world's first mail order house. Now you got Sprue Brothers. You got uh, you have Sprue Brothers, and you have uh, uh, Mount of Carlton, Texas. What do you call that? Squadron. And you got all these other places. You know, you you, you can get stuff like this, like this on here. But uh, Bob Archer and his wife Nancy, they were uh, uh, they came from they come from the United Kingdom. And they're very great down to earth people, and they used to have uh, they had a metal in their house and showrooms where you can see models. Now I have about four or five of them in his showrooms, but 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 the thing about it is I lost them all because of because of him being out of business. Bob Archer of Archer's Hobby World went out of business probably oh I would say probably the the late eight and late nineteen eighties. He finally went out of business, and uh, so I bought this kit back in nineteen seventy seven. This is run off from the comic kit. This is the uh, Hawker Sydney MR1 Nimrod. This is one of the first ones we did. The later, what later versions had had fueling prod probes sticking out, and a lot of other modification antennae and such on there. But this is it came out of this kit. This is what's going to look like. Okay, I'll put this down and show you how much old Frankie Day's got on this job. Here she is, right here. Last night, I hear brush. Some white whacker on top of the white planning here, and I gotta mask it off all the way from here below the windows up to here. The decarnation line between uh, gray and white. Of course, inside here, I'm gonna put an intake there and I make that red. Put the covers in there, and make it red in there. I'm gonna open up this hole here and put a vacuum for me a. Um, A piece of well, a, a bubble. I mean, uh, God, I can't even say it. Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put it'll be transparent to be here to finish up the search. This is a searchlight right here. I imagine that's what it is. And uh, you like exactly for me one, I can find one of the parts box. No big deal. So I got to open this up right here. I started to last night. I'm gonna open up the rest of it. I'm gonna put a piece of sheet plastic in there and make a little light near fixture. And I'm pretty sure I got a little dome I can put across there, a clear dome. That'll, uh, that'll represent the light. All these windows have been filled in with masking. I got masking on the windows right here, as you can see. They'll come off once it's glossed up and all painted. Here's the wells for the undercarriage right here. They come over here, too. Right here, this is not going to be. At first, I thought I wanted to dig, uh, cut this out and box, and box, and box it in. There's no zoo wells on hell. This is a vacuum pump kit. I'll build it like a vacuum pump kit. So I did. 
Okay. I got that coming. It's a good kit. It goes together very well. I don't think they make this no more. It's already been superseded by um, Airfix. Airfix makes a good one. Uh, Stu Avery, uh, St uh, Stu's, uh, Stu's models. He's got a, a 172nd scale of one of these by Airfix. I've been wanting to get it a long time. But evidently they, uh, they're they hard to find. Looks like given them on eBay somewhere. With some kind of a some kind of a store, uh, 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 an inlet where I can get them, either internet or go to a, or a eBay, probably the best source for me. And uh, normally I don't uh, like to go to eBay all the time. I'll go there for, for fittings and stuff. This here's a buffer right here. I use this to buff out any orange peel on this white and it moves it very easy you don't take off paint it just moves it just polishes everything it's like a polisher it just polishes everything i like these kind of polishing sticks makes it nice and smooth real smooth put that over there get later so this is my entry for rob's group build recon group build He's got a few other fellows there. He's got a lot of stuff going on there. And uh, he's got them posted on this. I'm sure to go to Basic Modeling. Rob Basic Modeling. He's a, a very wonderful person. And he, he's a very good builder. He, uh, and I say he's a master of the paintbrush. Him and Panzerman, Panzerman Bill, a Panzerman's Bunker, are, are the only ones on the internet that I know of are very, very well with a, that, that, that do a very good job with a, with a paintbrush. They turn that paintbrush into an airbrush. They don't leave no for brush marks or nothing. So they're pretty well skilled at that. There's a lot of people up there who can use a paintbrush. You can swear they with an airbrush because they're pretty well skilled at it. This is a nice uh, polishing buffer. You find these at uh, hobby shops near your neck of the woods. And we got to do these things. got to make it nice and clean. I let this white dry over 24 hours. I have to airbrush that, that white lacquer. It actually was coach colors. Focal. I got a whole range of focal railroad coach colors I got out of storage the other day. I said, man, I had no idea I had these things. And these things were already inside these these, these packages. And all I got to do is take them out. So they come in bottles about this size. About the size of this uh, Vallejo aluminum. I mean, uh, Vallejo paints that size. So anyway, guys, this is what I got going on. I'm going to work on this tonight, so I'm going to do and do some masking on here. I'm going to mask this off. Demarcation line right across here. There's going to be white across here. The bottom's all going to be gray. And there's not going to be very much decals on it either. They give you a bunch of roundels. The only thing I'm missing right here is going to be the, the Union Jack right there. The, 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 the blue, white, and red. I'm thinking if I probably got one of my decal box I could use. I don't know if it's undersized or oversized. But if I can't find it, I'm going to go ahead and make my own. That's easy to make. All you do is mask it off and just... It's already white right here anyway. I do just mask off a box right there, a square, and make one one part blue, one part red. Works for me. So, I got that going on. This is the second time I built this here. I bought two back in 1977. I got something else I want to show you guys, too. It'll be my second build on Rob's recon group build. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. Why the bog? My HS Victory box. Nothing I'm gonna get started on. HS Victory. Get that going. Okay, where was I at? Here. This is my Japanese Emily flying boat. I've already got primer on it. I've got filler on there. Got to sand off, reprime again, and paint it. This is going to be a second entry for the reconnaissance group build because I know that these Emilys are actually reconnaissance aircraft. 
They use these for long-range reconnaissance. That's why Admiral Yamato got the idea that maybe you should have used these enemy flying boats to destroy, destroy the fleets by high-level bombing. But these things had no bombs on them. I mean, uh, the enemy flying boat, there's no there's no uh, wing bays in there like like you do on the uh, Marlin, the, the, the Mariner. And uh, they don't have no excess side paneling there where bombs come out just like a short sunlight. So I don't think these things carried any uh, armor at all. Nothing but just uh, nothing but just air, just seaplanes. But I know they use these a lot for for reconnaissance work because a lot of, because these uh was that because actually that's what they used before. People don't understand didn't know that. I learned that when I was in Japan one time. I knew it. I knew Asawa. Asawa, I forget his last name. First name was Asawa, and his last name is, I don't, I can't remember it, uh, Kipoliko or something, I don't know what it is. Well, a very nice man. He was probably around my father's age by the time I, I was on a station in Yokosuka, Japan, and he used to fly these all the time. They came from Sasebo. He had a big old base up there in Sasebo, Japan, seaplane base where they fly from. And he told me, he says, they use these for long range reconnaissance work. He said he that's when he told me that 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 Admiral Yamamoto wanted to use these for Pearl Harbor, but he found out that these things didn't carry no bombs, nothing like that. So they went back and right after the first attack of Pearl Harbor, they started to put armament on these things. And with these armament they start putting on these things, they're going to use that to finish off what they left off, but they decided not to because right now we're out looking for them and they went back home, which is the wise thing to do to regroup and rekindle their failures and what the next tactic they're going to do next because they know we're on the warpath and they know retribution was coming their way. Uh, these carry torpedoes too. I'll, I'll stand myself corrected. I, I made a, a, a tragic error. These do carry armor. They carry mines and, and torpedoes, but they're but they, uh, on this kit here, you know, they give you here, they give you uh, two torpedoes and two mines. There's shackles underneath here, which they release. And these things did carry out in it. But mostly they use them for as a constant uh, constant work. Because I know this, because, because uh, I sort of told, uh, uh, told me that they were. And I, I knew these were constant flying boats. That's why. A flying boat out in the middle of in a war zone with no fighter protection. That's a recon job. So this is my second build for Rob Basics modeling. Recon group build. And I had both these done way before March, in the March. Okay, so I got two builds coming this way, and I think he'd be very well pleased with these my two entries. And uh, they're a lot different than a lot of others. It's, it's, it's Frankie Day style. <laughs> That's about it. Okay, uh, I'm going to be working on the uh, Nimrod tonight. Get some paint work done on it. Sand down an Emily and blow some more uh, primer on it. Recheck the imperfections, and uh, then, I'll, then I'm gonna be sending down my albatross tonight and get that going. So I'll have I got my boy P, uh, F4B by Hasegawa, which you guys seen in the last two videos. I got that ready to, to be painted. It's ready for his clothes. So so far, it looks like to me I uh, I got one, two, three for his clothes right now, and number three, then me flying boot be number three after I get that putty sand off and get another get another coat of primer. And I should give that a wrap on all three of them. I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah. They got monogam group build. No, monogam. Uh, they got a monogam, monogam models. Facebook page. I dug this out of my stash a long time ago. This is the monogam uh, KBF. And... Uh, This here was a very nice, a very great kit at the time when it first came out. It came out in 1958. What I like about them is, is that these, 
going to move that the wings. They, uh, well, they want to get the landing gear down. They don't know where the wheel's down. I like to take them down these things, guys. I really do. That's what I like about the Zomagnum kits. Just like the real one. Right up there. Right up there. This is what I really like right here. Watch that tail wheel come. Watch that tail wheel come down. These are truly gimmick models at one time. There's a box that came out right here. This is a very old box. I think I paid a dollar. A dollar forty-nine. Years ago, when inflation and price changes weren't even weren't even seen in the future, he left it at the same cost. This thing remind, remained a dollar forty nine until up to nineteen seventy. And uh, it has the features here what it does, which you seen I did a while ago, the wheels go up, wings fold, drops a torpedo, the ball turret elevates and turns. For dollar forty nine, we were a kid back in those days. What could be more joyous to have fun? Go out there and play outside with him, you know. Back in those days, people didn't. People knew you were having fun. If you do your stuff like that now, they just think you're nuts. That shows you how this world's really changed. Something. What it comes down to it comes down to guys. I ain't trying to preach nothing right here. To my to my eyes. To my uh, how I observe things is that kids nowadays ain't, ain't allowed to be children. By the time they're what three, four years old, they got cell phones in their hands, well educated with the internet, and uh, they grow up too fast. They're adults by the time they're and they're by the time they're in their teens, they're they're going on 30, 40 years old. Terrible. But anyway, I'm going to be working. I'll be posting this on, Mon on Monogram's uh, Facebook page. Those are the torpedo days. Doors. This thing does everything with fly. It sure does. You know, for an old model that's been around for a long time, this thing is pretty accurate. I can't see anything that's different on it compared to what they've got. Uh, I mean, What's out there now? I mean, sure, the stuff they got nowadays, I mean, uh, it's pretty accurate. But these things right here are very accurate. I mean, they're pretty accurate. I mean, they must have got a blueprint when they produce this. So, that's, uh, that's another thing I'll be posting on the Monica page right there. Okay, that's about it right there, fellas, got for you. I got a lot of models to work on. It'll be a very busy camper back here. I got a couple more I dug out of storage yesterday. I took about seven of them back in storage yesterday to get some room in here. I got way too much in here. Way too much. Okay, that's about it, guys. Uh, I might have a live action tonight. I mean, it might be a live action on something I'll be working on tonight. It'll be a good night to do it. Snowing outside. It's getting cold out there. It's payday today. I can't go out and play music night. They close down the clubs because of the, because of the weather. So, if people don't have a hobby. I bet they go bug house being locked up in the house. Can't get nothing to do. That's why it's always good to always to have a, have a hobby. Because if you don't, your mind will be boggled. And uh, that'd be it right there.
Okay, that's it for this evening. So I'll probably have a live action going on tonight. I'll dig, I'll drag something out. I think I got a good idea what I'm going to bring out. This is another build I haven't built in a long time. Okay, uh, that'll be it. Make mama happy. Take care of the little ones. Take care of yourself. Spend wisely. Stay focused when you drive. Spend wisely. Mask over the mug when you're out in public. Wash your hands when you get home. And uh, please be safe. This virus ain't going to last very much longer, fellas. It's burning itself out right now. I mean, it only goes so long, that's about it. It burns out because you got a lot of people in this world. The time it goes to over 11 billion people, it's going to be petered out like a fart in the wind. And tragically enough, as we all can see it, something else will rise. I hope I'm prepared for that. So please be healthy. Please be safe. And uh, look, this, this weather out here is crazy out here. You don't want to get out here in this weather, get snowbound, and get in a wreck. And they get too many people out there, amateurs. They don't know what snowy weather can do and roads are. So please be careful out there. Get yourself a model. Get yourself your favorite beverage of choice. Sit back, let the kids have fun. Let the wife do what she wants to do. Get yourself a man cave, build out a kit, get kit crazy, and just build and have a good time and enjoy. That's what I'll be doing. Okay, I'm out of here, fellas. So stay post tonight. I have a live action job coming for you tonight. I'll bring some drag something out of the closet. Okay, this is Frankie Day signing off for the second time for Frankie Day Models. You guys take care of yourself and God bless you guys. I love you, fellas. And thank you very much for your wonderful comments and your candor. I'm very, very honored each one of you guys for your wonderful comments and your candor and everything. And I'm very happy. Uh, like I said, you guys are my family, you know. That's the way I look at it. I mean, not met you in person, but words and uh, videos are close enough. Okay, I'm out of here, fellas. You guys take care. And God bless you. And uh, see where I'm at there. Okay, right there. All righty then. We'll catch you uh, on the next video. So be safe and be careful out there, guys. God bless you, fellas.